Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. I don't care what it is. Just let her go. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot, and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Don't worry. We'll find Clementine. Damn right we will. No matter what. To do that, you gotta get us another way out. We're lucky there's no axe holding that door closed, huh? Oh, shut up. Any trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know. Don't worry about this door right now. We got it. No shit. There's no going back at all if you don't find another way out of here. We've got this. You keep looking. This isn't gonna help. Just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds.
Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! How do you know that? Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Uh, don't kill me! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. <laughs> Try to stay still! <laughs> Not a while, man. It's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Hospital must have run out of doctors. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. Well, you're here. Don't get me killed. I won't. Are you afraid? I'm still afraid of getting eaten. More than ever. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. But you still have to get over there. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Kim. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? The mansion's that way. Bell Tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that, yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry.
What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Hey. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. How's the leg? It's good. Wouldn't mean shit if you hadn't left Clementine with me when you went into Crawford. That little girl saved my life. She's something, right? Yeah. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-arm guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Cause the one-arm guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far you got this Got this, motherfucker. Good goddamn leap, pal. 
Let's get the hell off this roof. Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit, here they come. In the house. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it. Omi. What is it?
Front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. Hey, don't stop. That mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation 
About what happens if Lee takes another spill? Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. Would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll crit fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Earl's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family. So there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. But 
whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. Pain, that is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Let's keep moving. I gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed.
I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. Okay. I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh. Quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! He's screwed. He's not screwed! He can't die down here! What do you want to do, Ken? We can't... Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out! Shit! Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck? 
Kitty? Lee, Lee, it's okay. Katja wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I, I tried to help. What the fuck happened? There was just too many of them. Ben was really messed up, and I don't know. There's nothing else. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe he did get away. I don't know. We should go. Right behind you.